HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Good afternoon, HSC. I'm Paul Novosel. And I'm Jake Ledford. And this is your newscast for Thursday, December 1st, 2016. With finals week coming up, remember that if you need a paper edited, the Writing Center can help. So here's a segment about the Writing Center with Nadine and Grace. Ever need help writing a paper or getting a prompt ready? The Writing Center can help you with that. ...ago in 2008, but before that, I believe that English teachers shared the supervision of several writing mentors. Um, so I guess it's been about 14 years at least that the Writing Center has been in existence. Um, one of the best things the Writing Center has to offer is our one-on-ones where a student can come down, whether it be in their lunch or a study hall period, and work directly with a mentor and bring their paper out and uh, we can talk about it. Hopefully they have a prompt that always helps. And um, it's a one-on-one -on -one meeting and um, you can come back and do that whenever you like and uh, it really helps improve the paper and get the point across. I became a writing mentor last year when I was recommended by my junior English teacher, Mr. Klobusnik, who was previously a writing mentor. And I found that it has helped my writing in so many ways and that I just love helping others with their own writing. Um, we take all papers, whether it be from a science class like biology or an ACP comp. It's kind of a wide range. We can help students with any form of writing from the pre-writing phase, such as just understanding the prompt or writing that first thesis statement. We can help with rough drafts, which is typically what we receive. Um, we can help with your final draft, just to polish it up before you hand it in. We can also help when you're a senior uh, with your college essays as well. The Writing Center is located in the Media Center. This has been Grace Godish and Nadine Abdelrahman. A mosque in Indianapolis received a threatening letter that President-elect Donald Trump will cleanse America. Similar letters have been sent this week to at least 10 Islamic centers across the country, according to the Washington Post. Wildfires have been roaring through Gatlinburg, Tennessee this week. In Sevier County, seven people died and more than 700 homes and businesses have been destroyed. This fire has consumed over 15,000 acres of, isle of land over the Great Smoky Mountains. In your positive news, Patagonia announced that it will donate all $10 million of Black Friday sales to the grassroots environmental organizations working around the world. In a blog post on the website, Patagonia says, We expect it to reach $2 million in sales. We beat that expectation five times over. The enormous love our customers show to the planet on Black Friday enables us to give every penny to hundreds of grassroots environmental organizations working around the world. Tonight is the first night of the choir concert. Here's a segment with Callie and Max. about 255 choir members this year in Royal Vocals, um, Chamber Singers, Royal Sensation, Royal Edition, and Accent. And Miss um, Armstrong will have about 10 to 15 crew members helping us with curtains, lights, and sound. The opening will actually be a much more informal dance number as opposed to many years past in tailcoats. So we're hoping the audience can really have a more personal connection with us this year instead of just feeling a rigid people on stage. Like usual, we're going to be singing the holiday sing along, which has pretty much all of the usual Christmas carols. Then we've also got Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas from Sensation, and we've got just a lot of really, really fun songs that everybody knows, which is nice to hear at a concert. My favorite song that we're singing is In Poli. It's a traditional Polish carol, but it's really, really pretty. With just the guys of Royal Edition, we really enjoyed Favorite One, which we'll all be dressed up in some phenomenal costumes, and, and if you're there, you'll really catch a good kick out of it. We've got really fancy dresses, we've got really, really great music, great choreography, we've got something for everybody. We start putting the show together with ideas clear back in August and September, and it's pretty much a daily event since then. So, I'll just say, countless fun hours. Riley Dance Marathon will announce totals tomorrow for the money raised for No Shave November. Now let's go to Zach with sports. The number 13th ranked Indiana Hoosiers defeated the number 3 ranked North Carolina Tar Heels last night by a score of 76 to 67. The Hoosiers led the whole game and were led by sophomore OG Ananubi. Tiger Woods returns to professional golf today, the first time in over 15 months. 
Tiger has had numerous back surgeries and hasn't won a PGA Tour event since 2013. Woods looks to change that when he takes place in the Hero World Challenge this weekend in the Bahamas. Now back to your anchors. Thanks for watching HSC. Have a terrific Thursday. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.